Welcome to your daily double reading. Today we will be using the Work Your Life Oracle Cards along with the Moonlight Tarot deck to get you two card combos to choose from for your message. So we'll start with the Work Your Light deck. You can tune in, start asking your intuition, which card combo is going to provide me with the message that I need that's connected to my divine light for the day. There it is, okay. And we'll add some tarot to these two. Boop, that flipped and I'm not gonna let you see him and turn it over there, okay. Card combo one, card combo two, whichever one you are being intuitively drawn to the most. Once you have made your selection, head down to the description and click the timestamp next to your card combo uh, that you've chosen, and that will send you right to your daily double reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo here. Let's take a look at work your light first because I got a peek at this. I'm gonna see what's connected here. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. And you can see this is definitely um, a divinely oriented card that connects you to your hopes, your dreams, and spirit. So this is massive co-creation and a new beginning energy. I know it's connected here, so I'm going to just show it to you here. That Seven of Swords, it flipped over, right? Flipped right over in the deck. And this is an interesting card to have connected to this. I feel like we're, yeah, they're saying, they're talking about breaking patterns. Um, mm. A seven of swords in a low expression can tell me that you've, uh, and it is, is you've been dealing with some like tricky energy, maybe manipulative energy. It could be, you know, anywhere really. It could be at work. It could be in a relationship that you have. It could be um, societally, they're saying. Like maybe you were taking in stuff that was actually shifting the way that you thought about something or thought about yourself or thought about your capabilities. And when you get this card in a high expression, sevens are about experience. They carry with them uh, lucky energy. They really allow you to start to hone the experience and use it. Um, and so in a high expression, this is going to allow you to start maneuvering your mind so that you don't get lost in the trickery or in the manipulations of the past. And because you have it with birthing a new age, I just feel like this message is about understanding that as you continue to align and intend and connect, and you allow this new beginning to happen, whether that's like a reinvention energy in a certain part of your life or reinventing your own self, your own spirit, um, connecting to your dreams for the future and actually believing in yourself and your capabilities and believing that those dreams are possible. Whatever that energy is, it's connected to breaking old cycles that have kept you perhaps stuck or held back. You know, it kept you imprisoned in your mind. This is very mental energy. Some of it is probably not true at all, and you're starting to realize that. And I think that spirit is just wanting to give you, like, um, an embrace, a, a hug, and, like, a pat on the back for... They're telling you basically it's okay, whatever it is that you were manipulated by or whatever it is that you thought that was, you know, that was starting to hold you back or that was keeping you stuck or that was making you feel imprisoned, like you couldn't do this, that wasn't available, whatever that was. 
Um, it's okay, they're saying. Everything is okay. And they're really proud of you. That's that pat on the back for starting to recognize that you can start fresh, that you can dream something into life, that you can birth a new beginning for yourself. And so I would say stay in a state of openness and connection here. You can see she's in the middle of three stone circles. If you feel called to make a stone circle, <laughs> go ahead and stand in it, sit in it, write your intentions in it, burn something in the middle of it etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Definitely in alignment for this group to do that. I love a good stone circle. I love a good stone circle burning too. Um, if it's connected to old narratives or old things that you just believed that are not true, then burn those away. Um, you know, for sure. Uh, a seven of swords asks you to be you, to be your authentic self, to do it your way. Okay, that's why I like to call it the Frank Sinatra My Way card because it's like, I don't care what other people think of me or what I'm doing anymore. I am breaking those old patterns and I'm birthing a new me, a new age, a new way of being, a new way of thinking. So they are in full support for you, group one, in this uh, new birth, reinvention, uh, rebirth kind of energy and allowing yourself to dream about what you're going to create and what you're going to be a part of in the future as you just step into your authentic self and being you. So I hope that this serves you. It's a wonderful message of alignment. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't wanna miss any of my future readings, you know what to do. And I will see you in the next Daily Double. Hello group two and welcome to your daily double reading. If you're listening to this, then you have chosen the second card combo for your message today. Let's take a look at the work your light card first. Ah, dance with life. Do something to change your energy. So this is about allowing yourself to be free, kind of doing something fun, doing something that's gonna help you flow. It's also this, um, yeah, they're showing the word interruption. So there needs to be some kind of an interruption <laughs> of the current energy or some current connection that you've got going on, some current vibration that you've got going on today. And they're telling you very clearly, do something to shift the energy that's going on there. Um, if this is just one area of life or one particular thing that when you think about it, this energy kind of overwhelms you or you get into this funk or this other space, then that's what they're talking about with this card. Um, you may want to take this literally as well, they're saying. For some of you, it may be a literal message, meaning putting on some music and actually dancing, or you don't even have to put on the music if you just want to dance around. Um, you know, that may actually be very helpful in interrupting the energy. I would also say that this could be just a heads up before it happens for some of us today this if you chose this pile group number two you know you may have something that comes in to uh like you're doing great and then something comes in and you you feel you know low energy or maybe you feel sad or hurt or you know something comes in to just kind of woof, and they want you to be very conscious of that throughout the day so that you can do what you need to do to interrupt it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go dance around the office and like people are like, what's going on with so-and-so? What's going on with group two? I mean, they're acting a little weird and erratic. It just means that you need to do something to redirect your attention and interrupt that vibe. Clear it out, essentially. Let's see what's connected here. The Four of Wands, ooh, this is good. You'll be successful in doing this, no problem, they're saying with this Four of Wands. A Four of Wands is a card of celebration. It is a card of accomplishment. It's like a card of commitment, and it's positive. It's a very positive marker. Um, Yeah, this feels like a positive energy altogether. It's just something feels like it, it like comes into your psyche or it comes into your mind, and it just kind of shifts where you were. And so if you're working on something wonderful, if you've made a beautiful commitment and then you just have a pocket of energy like that, they're telling you, you'll be very successful. You'll be celebrating, it feels like, by the end of the day. This is a card of a positive commitment. Some people call it the marriage card. Maybe you're, this. you could be pondering making a commitment to something and now your mind starts to tell you, yeah, but what if this happens? Or, you know, it brings up the stressors or the worries or it makes you have anxiety. If that happens to you because you're trying to make a commitment, a beautiful commitment of the heart and a beautiful, passionate energy that um, feels really good, that you want to celebrate, you want to make sure you make the right choice. 
go do something else. Go for a walk. Go do something else if your mind starts to bug you about it. Because I feel this group is definitely going to be successful in not only doing something to shift the energy, but whatever you're committing to or whatever your energy is mostly in, it's very, very positive. And Spirit's just like, hey, don't let that thing get you down. Don't let that thought track gets you down whatever it is they want you to be conscious of that coming in so that you can shift it and you will be able to shift it like no doubt in my mind so i hope that this serves you for the day it's a nice heads up from spirit for you today group number two and if you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings you know what to do i'll see you in the next daily double